In this video, we want to explain the use and conversions of metric units. Units are like the last names of the measures. To measure a property of an object is to assign to that property a quantity by comparing it to a standard unit. Let's take the weight of the teacher as an example. The teacher weighed 58,700 grams. That sounds like a very big number. Because it is measured in the standard unit for mass, which is the gram. Well, one gram is only about this amount of sugar. Maybe we should use a more convenient unit for the weight of a person. In the metric system, we have prefixes that indicate how many times we are using a unit. So we use kilo for 1,000. The H stands for hecto and means 100. And deca is the Latin prefix for 10. Now for expressing less than one unit, we can use deci or one ten. Centi, which stands for 100, or milli for one little thousand. We can see that two of the prefixes start with D. To distinguish between them, we are ready deca has D8. Now we are ready to convert units. We want to convert grams to kilograms. To do so, we need to jump three steps upwards. Each jump upwards is like dividing by 10. And dividing by 10 is like moving the decimal point one place to the left. As we have to jump one, two, three steps, the decimal point has to be moved three places. But where is the decimal point in this number? There, at the end of the number. Now it started moving one, two, three places. We got the number 58 and 7 tenths because the zeros at the end don't have to be free. Well done, this complaint. 58.7 kilograms is the weight of the teacher. Let's try a different number. 87 and 5 tenths. That number expressing kilometers. Is the weight of the state of Baja California? Measure from east to west, right there. So the standard unit for any distance is not the kilometer, but the meter. One meter is this long. I'm going to see meter is the opinion of your finger like this. We are going to convert the weight of Baja California from kilometers to decimeters. That is four steps downwards, and this means that the decimal point has to be moved four places to the right. It can easily move one place, but for the other three, we need to screw back. The decimal point at the end of the number doesn't have to be written. We got a quantity that is 10,000 times the one we have. These numbers mean that someone will need to do 875,000 times this movement in order to measure the state of Baja California with the hands. Our last example involves the capacity of a mountain to hold certain volume of water. This water can hold up to 7.58 deciliters. The standard unit for capacity or units is the liter. Throw most of the bottles with phrase their capacity in milliliters. Let's find out how many milliliters there are in 7.58 deciliters. Did you count the jumps? Two jumps downwards means two places to the right. And the decimal point keep rolling up so we get 758 milliliters. Thank you for your attention. We hope this video helped you understand the metric.